On the outset, I would like to welcome our Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savan, Chief Secretary Shri Parimal Raiji, Secretary Shri Daulat Havaldar, Director of NIO Dr. Sunil Singh, Dr. Vijay Raghavan, Dr. Ajay Kumar Sun, and Shri Zuzan Arona. And all of you who are present in this uh, August gathering. To the Manohar Parikar Vidyan Mahotsav 2019, Science and Society, which is being organized in the memory of our late beloved Chief Minister, Sri Manohar Bhai Parikar. Manohar Parikar was not a mere human being. He was a walking, talking encyclopedia. If we develop a positive approach and a scientific temper in our day-to-day -day life, we will be able to keep Manohar Bhai alive through our deeds and bring laurels to our state of Goa. I would like to say a few words on this very special occasion. I remember the words of Sri Manohar Bhai was my leader, my mentor. He showed me the way. He used to, he, he is from our village, Parra means I am also from his village. And uh, he used to always talk about the story of watermelons. And uh, Parra is very famous for it. And the watermelons are still there because he made, he, uh, a time was there for nearly two or three years. They just stopped. And he started this story and he was asking me first that what happened about our watermelons? We used to eat them and uh, the farmers used to give us free of cost. Quite big watermelons, very sweet. And he told a very big gathering even in Mumbai at the IIT convocation that the watermelon seeds have to be kept for the next year. So the farmers used to give us watermelons and use us as a labor to eat. And I remember in my young days also we used to go in the farms, they used to give us watermelons, they used to keep us ready. And we all boys and girls used to eat watermelons, free of course. Today we will not get them. Nobody will give us free. But those days we used to get them free. So we used to put the seeds of the watermelon in the basket. So they used to dry them up and keep them for the next year. Every day we used to go in one month farm. We used to get one month. So in that, around three days in a week we used to go and eat these watermelons and give them the seeds. So Manor Parikar, our visionary leader, said they used to not just give it. They wanted the seed. And they wanted free labor for it. And the seeds used to be used sown in the next year and again in the next year. So one day, one fine uh, year, I think it is just 10 years back, slowly the farmers stopped the growing watermelons in, in Parra. And few farmers had the seed. So we had to use some very good industry means uh, 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 who develops the seeds. We had to send it in a lab, and they actually gave us the, the same seed. You know what we had given them? Some one full packet of seeds. 
they gave us the seat which was the same one. So he said in that very big uh, function that the seats have to be kept for the generation next. And I think the students who are over here taking part in this uh, series of uh, lectures which will be given to you or ideas which will be shared by scientists, by uh, Nobel, uh, earlier last year by Nobel laureates, they, they have got a lot of knowledge upon this. And the generation next, we have to give them the best. So for that we have to keep the best. So Manor Parikar always spoke about the seeds of Parra, which for the last more than 100 years the farmers kept them and the generation next used them or sown the seeds, the generation next sown the seeds. Till today we have made a point now every year that the same seeds should be used. And till today we are using them. So it was the story told by Manohar Parikar which went uh, uh, all over India and it became very famous all over the world. I welcome all the other dignitaries who are present over here and let us all work together to see that our visionary leader who was our visionary leader, let, let us take his ideas, let us take his visions what we, he had. He had dreams for a for a Goa like a, those days what in his young days what he had seen Goa he wanted to keep it clean so the first project of his in my constituency Kalangut and Saligao the solid waste management plant and and tomorrow in South Goa he did not even only think about North so he also thought about South so it took us three long years from the time he established the solid waste management plant in Kalangut three long years to start the foundation of the next plant. And I still remember his last words when I went to visit him in the hospital when he was there at Ames. I asked him, Sir, how do we keep our party intact and how do we take it ahead? How do we Without you, how we will... Don't worry, Michael, I have trained all you guys. And your leader will be Dr. Pramod Savant. He whispered in my ears. And uh, Rupesh Kamat, his personal, then personal secretary, was present over there. He told me, Dr. Pramod Savant will lead you all. You all, all have to follow one leader, how you all followed me. And I think if you follow one leader, you will achieve all the dreams what which I have shown you all, which I have told you, which I have in my mind. We are all know how to go ahead. And Dr. Pramod Savant will lead you and and you will you all, all have to follow him. And today Dr. Pramod Savant is showing us the way what Manohar Bhai had taught him. He was the speaker then. But always he used to guide him, guide all of us. And his vision which was there, Manohar Bhai's, will see the light of the day under the leadership of our Dr. Pramod Savan. And I think in the years to come, Whatever he had thought, whatever was, all the ideas what he had in his mind, we will all see them in Goa and let us all work to make this beautiful land, Manor by his dreamland and let us keep his vision alive. Thank you very much. God bless.